and welcome back everyone for some more of my Mario, Mario Maker World Series for Super Mario Maker 2. And today we're going to be playing Ghost House levels and we are going to be playing them as Luigi. Now, what I want to do in this particular series is just make things a bit different. Yeah, I'm still going to do my Super Mario Bros. 1, Super Mario Bros. 3 hype videos as well as some uh, Mario 3D World levels. But I also want to do videos in this series where I play a certain style of levels. For instance, Ghost House levels as Luigi. And get certain game styles and play them as certain characters. Like, like I, I could make a video like all jungle levels played as Toad. All sky levels played as Toadette. All desert levels played as Mario. You know, something like in that to that effect. So, that is something that I am planning on doing in the future of this series. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But uh, without further ado, here's his first level by Belle Vera from Canada. And this is called the Autumn Manor. It's in the Super Mario Bros. 3 style, and it's a standard Earth stage, and its time does not feel the same with its abandoned manor's walls. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. By the way, hopefully you guys, uh, ho um, if you guys hear a bit of humming in the background, please don't mind that because I have my fan on again. It is. It just feels really hot when I don't have... The, it's that time of year where if I don't have a fan on it, it feels like an oven in my my uh, in my room. So hopefully you guys won't mind. Now hopefully it won't be too much of a bother for you guys. But anyway, without further ado, let's try this level out. Like I said, we will be playing as Luigi in this video. But yeah, that's a little something I'm throwing around just to make things... Up. A little bit different in this series, which good thing there are leaves flying, uh, falling all over the place because is there anything over here? I don't think there is. There's a bunch of 10 coins. Let's just go in here. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. Oh! Oh, that I could, there's nothing I could have really done about that. Oh, I see. I'm like, duh. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh! I didn't even notice the red coins I had to get here. Checkpoint. Oh, what am I doing? I keep keep doing that. I don't know why. I like how this level was set up. Okay, we get a mushroom out of this one. Okay, slightly harder than our first room. And I'm guessing all the other rooms will get progressively hard. Oh, what am I doing there? That, ah, huh, that was stupid. That was real dumb. That was real, real dumb. That was really, stu that was really stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I'm guessing each of these rooms are gonna get progressively harder. But yeah, I didn't even notice the red coins at first. That would have been fine because I have a checkpoint. Let's see if I can finish this room with with a uh, a mushroom. Whoa! Of course I can't. Because why would I? Oh, 
This is a very cool stage so far. I'm liking this stage. Of course, it's a Mario Brothers 3 stage. I am a little bit biased towards it because that is my favorite playstyle. Okay, we get a... That helps. Get you out of the way. a little bit of patience here. Okay. Oh! Ah! Oh, I was kind of hoping I would have kept my tail. Okay, one more room. 92 seconds left. Which it doesn't really... I mean, it doesn't really matter in the end because I'm gonna lose my... my... big Luigi anyway. There we go! That was a pretty cool stage! I like that! Bit of a longer stage, but I don't really care about that. As long as the level is good, I have to take as much time as I can with it. Okay, let's see what we can play next. Let's try pl this level by Hippie Ino from Finland. That name looks very familiar. I'm pretty sure I played one of this uh, uh, maker's levels before. But this is in the Super Mario Bros. 1 style, and this is to Moomin Valley and back. It's a themed Earth stage. Oh, wait a minute. I did play this before. There's the... Never mind. I just noticed right now that there's the... Uh, I already played this one, so... Let's try this one instead. It's by Psycho Yak from Italy, and this is Castle Koopa. It's a themed music stage, and it's Out of Time plus Voyager helps Simon Belmario to explore Drake Koopa's castle. Oh, that's pretty cool! And there's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Yeah, it's a music level, but hey, I'll play it. No, 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 That was embarrassing. That was extremely embarrassing. Okay, let's do this normally this time instead of, like, somebody that's never played a Mario game before. I would lose that. Of course, I would get hit there. And for those of you that may not know in my, my past episodes of this, I'm not a very good Luigi player, which, if you think about it, does not make sense because all it is is character palette swaps, but... It's just, I just don't particularly play well as Luigi. It's, it's weird. What's in here? Okay, nice! At least I do get to finish with a para, which is cool. There we go, that was Castle Koopa. You're welcome, by the way. Okay, on to the next.
But yeah, that was a pretty cool stage. It wasn't just a music level. We actually did stuff in it, which I appreciate. Let's try this one by Coco HP from Japan, and this is Iggy's Mansion, which, by the way, awesome pixel art there. This is standard, a standard, yeah, very good English, a standard single player stage, and I guess that's the love. That's I don't know what level code that is. If that's even, I don't know. I guess that's somebody's level code, but the level code for this is right there. And it says thanks in the description, which, by the way, you're welcome. Let's check out uh, Iggy's Mansion. It's an Mario World style, too, which I forgot to mention there. Okay, Luigi, I know darn well you can make that. Thank you. Okay, there's a key right there. See if there's anything else up here, which I don't think there is. Just go ahead and in here, go to Iggy's Mansion. Very cool design in the stage so far. I'm liking it so far. Gotta be patient. Oh! That kind of startled me for a second. I wasn't in, I I don't know what, what I was expecting exactly, but it was not that. Let's just go ahead and collect these coins. I mean, why not? There's really no reason not to. There's really no reason to collect them, but there's really no reason not to either. That makes sense. We see a Galoomba there. And apparently we're going to need a Fire Flower in order to get those frozen coins, which I really appreciate. I still say those are underutilized in this game. Okay, we need to go here. Whoa, okay. I see you. Okay, there's the fire flower in question. So this is almost like a Metroidvania level, almost. And we're gonna need something to go up there, which I'm assuming it will be once I access... Once I get the key. Okay, where does the key go? I, I didn't even pay attention. The key has to go somewhere. Where does the key go? Doesn't go there. Okay, I need to find the key. Okay, I can't go there. Oh! The key- oh, oh my god, I'm stupid. Key's right here. Okay, we gotta guide the money more, which ought to be fun. Oh! That should've- that should've- uh, that should've worked. Okay, that'll activate that switch, which, in turn, this next room should change. And it sure did! This is a really cool stage! There's a checkpoint. Okay, what's in here? 
mushroom. I was not expecting this. This is a pleasant surprise. Okay, we're gonna need something to get rid of that uh, muncher. And that particular thing I'm gathering is a pal block. Okay, there's the pal block. This is a really, really cool stage. That is, this is really cool. I'm thinking about leaving another comment. Oh, I see. Get some Mario Kart music. Okay, here's the booze. I, I, is that supposed to be booze, or is that supposed to be boss? I think that's supposed to be boss, not booze. Whoa! That mushroom's gonna have to stay there. It really doesn't do me any good. Okay, I was gonna say, where's Iggy at? Okay, he's gonna have to fall down a little bit. I'm gonna lose a life here. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I lost that. Come on, hit that block! Thank you! Well, they didn't need to hit the block, but... But yeah, very, very, very cool stage. I like that stage a lot. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that. But like I said, I'm gonna leave a comment here. But yeah, I like that. Got time to play a few more episodes. Uh, yeah, episodes. A few more levels. Let's try this one by MK8 from the US. That name looks familiar. And this is called Wendy's Room. It's a music single player stage. And it's in Wendy's Room. Hit switch and hold Y plus rate before Thwomp. Custom theme music. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Feel like I should know this song. Simple enough. Okay, this is Wendy's room. Whoa! Okay. Holy crap! Okay, that was a little bit frightening. 
Wendy looks so weird in a Mario Brothers 1 style. There we go. It was a pretty cool stage, I like that. Again, it was much like that Castle Cooper level I played. It wasn't just a, a music level, you actually did something in it, which I really appreciate. So, but yeah, I'm giving that a heart. Good job, MK8. Let's try this one. This one's by Persia from South Korea. And this is called Goomba is a Star. It's a, another music single player stage, and it's, you know, Goomba is actually a star. Enjoy. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Let's just appreciate the pixel art, a pixel art that not only is it a star, but also has the Goomba eyes on it instead of the, the, the normal star eyes. I appreciate the crap out of that. That's awesome artwork there. But anyway, without further ado... Okay, you can see Goomba is the star. Let's just go ahead and get this coin real quick. No particular reason, but just other than the fact that it's there. Okay, I'm falling with the Goomba. There we go. Interesting that. Goomba is star. Oh, I see the gimmick now. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. I'm gonna have to be quick, though. So, no need does he think very highly of Goomba, but he actually does... A, once you stomp the Goomba, he acts like a star... Okay. Alright. Oh, come on! I'm just not quick enough. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Nice. Good. And there's a checkpoint. Apparently there's another one of these. Bye. That is cool. I like that. Wow! Let's do the good stuff one. Should actually do the uh, the emoji on my thing, uh, change the uh, emotion of my Wii when I do that too, but... Okay, let's see what else we can play here pretty soon. Not pretty soon, just... Th uh, 
uh, let's finish things off here with a level by Pixion from the U.S., which I know I played a lot of this maker's uh, levels in the past. But anyway, let's go to Creepy Caterpillar Cabin. It's an Mario Brothers 1 style, it's a standard theme stage, and it's enter a dim greenhouse inhabited by glowing wigglers. Just a course ID in case you guys want to play this. But yeah, this will be the last level for this video. Make sure I don't hit any of the wigglers. Oh, oh. Why about this two music? Now, I, if I, I could be wrong on this, but if I step on the Wigglers in the Mar as the Mario Brothers 2 Mushroom, I don't think it actually makes them mad. I could be very wrong about that. Pretty long stage. In terms of length. There we go. Some angry wigglers. At least I know I wasn't the one that ticked them off. There we go. Hey there, Rowan. Very, very fascinating stage. I like that. And we finished with 85 coins. Very cool stage. As usual, awesome level, Pixion. Thank you so much for publishing it for us to enjoy. But yeah, that's what I'm going to call it for, for this video. And I think, to be honest, I thought this episode was a massive, massive success. Despite how poorly I play as Luigi. Like I said, there's really no reason for me to be, be playing bad as Luigi. Because um, they're just pretty much character swaps. They all play exactly the same. It's just a mental thing. But... Like I said at the beginning of the video, I plan on doing something like this in the future in this series. Like like I said, I might play like um, all forest levels as Toad, or all desert levels as Mario, all sky levels as Toadette. Just play a different style theme stage as a particular level, uh, as a particular character throughout the entire video, and just just see how that goes. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to it as much I am doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.